Whoa, oh my gosh, guys, look. It's an entire ham hock. One ham hock for sale. <laughs> Who wants a ham hock? Let's play a game. Holy crap, guys, the 2023 Halloween season has officially begun. Spirit Halloween stores are finally opening, including this one right here in Canton, Ohio, which just officially opened about 21 minutes ago. It is super hot out here. I have a headache, my eye is twitching, and I feel like I'm gonna puke. But that is no match for a Spirit Halloween that looks like this. It may be Thursday afternoon out here, but inside this Spirit Halloween, it is Tuesday morning. That's right, this Spirit Halloween right here is inside an abandoned Tuesday morning. But more Morning, afternoon, or night, I don't care because we are going in right now. Holy crap, this is a big one, guys. Look at this. This store goes from here all the way down to the corner. And I've been in here before when it was a Tuesday morning, so I know it's an enormous store. Here we go. I am so excited, I can't stand it. Right inside the door, we have the awesome classic orange and black Spirit Halloween Superstore's shopping baskets. Let's just take a quick sweeping look right from the door here, guys. It looks so awesome already. I cannot wait to get in here and start digging in. Let's just take a quick walk around before we even get into anything, and then we're gonna look at everything individually. Oh my gosh, we got Slim over here. Who did I see over here? I saw the straw man up front. We got the widow over here. Look at this, we had the Voina experience and he found the most awesome throw ever. It's the, not the ghost face, it's Jack, <laughs> it's Jack. popping out of the plush throw. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of boxes of animatronics right here we're gonna check out. We got the eternal rest here. Let's take a quick walk through here. Oh, we got this guy waiting to pop at us, Dagger Mike. We've got the Wicked Maker, AKA the Scary Sitting Scarecrow. Let's keep on moving here, guys. What in the world is this? Are these, these are not legit VHS tapes, but they look like it. What the heck, man? Includes a lanyard, a patch, two decals, and two buttons. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Look, they have one from Halloween 2. They have one from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And they have one from It. And they have a giant popcorn bowl. But before I get into the details, guys, let's just keep on walking around and taking a quick look around the whole store. I just had to take it all in. I didn't get to see stuff at the flagship store like this. There were so many people, it was absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing so many cool things right now. My head's about to explode. It's just gonna explode. We got so many cool animatronics and inflatables here to look at. Hugging skull piles and witch cauldrons. We got these guys peeking out. We've even got the hook head hog and the hook eye guy. Skulls and skulls and more skulls. We don't have a whole lot of zombie babies, but we do have a bunch we haven't seen, including these guys. Why does this guy have a cup on his head? Oh my gosh, guys, I am just totally overwhelmed in here. I see Billy Butcherson's head down here. Lots of awesomeness over here and holy crap guys look at what we're getting into over here including what's behind those doors what is it what could it be it's just crazy in here oh my gosh we have the beetlejuice section haunted mansion we have the bobbleheads lunch boxes pajamas fleece blankets galore we even have that other nate guy oh my gosh guys talk about fun this is the best time of the year let's go ahead back up here and start looking at all the awesomeness starting right up at the front. Okay, just as if we're coming right back in the front door again, guys, let's start with this guy right up here, who is actually from last year. It's the straw man. Look how unbelievably tall he is. Let's get him going. Do you guys remember when I made the video of you're him break dancing? Safe. You can hide in a hole I dug out back. It's six feet deep and very cozy. I'll even tuck you in with a few layers of soil on top to have a nice, long rest. He is more than likely a place keeper for something else that's going to be up there very soon. So let's keep moving around here. Here's one that I have never seen in action yet, guys. I've seen her on the website, online, in other people's videos. It's the Widow. Look at her, $199.99, and she cracks her own neck. 
<laughs> Look at that. Look at her neck. Holy crap. That is a mess. All right, let's do it one more time and then back up so you can see like her whole body. Here comes. There she goes. <laughs> she actually kind of looks like Dahlia. I wish they would re-release Dahlia. All right, let's keep on moving, guys, because over here we have this guy, Slim, from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Look how huge he is. And look at those shoes. If you know, you know. What are those? All right, let's take a close look at this bag here. I like how it's sparkly. I like how it has the moon and stars. And here's some popcorn inside. Now, this would be very easy to modify and just put like some real popcorn on there, put some glue down there, put a bunch of popcorn on, and it would look so much better. So Slim is $399.99. Let's get him going here. Okay. He looks pretty good. His face is a lot slimmer than it really should be. And all he really does is just bend forward, lean down with his bag of popcorn, and then you'll see, there he goes. He leans back up and opens his bag of popcorn. All right, so that's about it for Slim, but let's just take a second to appreciate the size of his hands. Look, they look like Mickey Mouse hands. All right, let's keep on moving around here, guys, because right over here we have the eternal rest. Okay, now that is pretty dang cool. When I first saw this one online, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it. I like it much better seeing it in person than online. Let's see if we can get her going. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I do wish they had spun a little faster. Spun faster? I'm not even sure if I said that right. I wish they had spinned a little faster. <laughs> I know. Okay, have fun with your spinning head. We're gonna go through here. So let's just back up and take a quick look at it here. Looks pretty dang cool. Let's go ahead and go through. I love how they have the candles here all lit up and spooky-like. And inside the crypt, you can see here lies menacing Molly. And down here, here lies Hugs the Clown. Over here, here lies Cerberus. Is that how you say it? Cerberus. And then over here, we have here lies Henry Hustle. Here lies the Nightcrawler. And down here is Buzzsaw. And then we have Ophelia over here, followed by Gray. Grim. No, not Grim! And look, there's one lone Grim arm sticking out of the wall like he's trying to escape. This whole thing is decorated very cool, guys. Like I said, the candles, we have the fabric of death hanging down here. We've got the gargoyles on the walls. We've got these flame buckets going. It's burning my face! And we've even got leaves down here. So there are a lot of awesome details in here, guys. Okay, so let's go on over here and check out Dagger Mike. I saw him online. I wasn't sure what I was going to think of him. I think his daggers look really cool, actually. But let's go ahead and hit the button and see what he does. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> he actually scared the crap out of me. I can't believe it. I knew it was coming. I knew he was going to jump at me. And he still scared the living crap out of me. You, sir, are good at scaring. And then over here we have the scary sitting scarecrow. A.K.A. the Wicked Makers. And this guy, we all know what he does. Let's go ahead and step and get him going. I think he sounds so totally awesome. I love his scream. I love his red eyes and his laugh. He's definitely a good prop. Okay, let's come on out here and take a look at these animatronics that they have on the floor for sale in stock right here and right now. We have the Grave Watcher. There are three of those available. Let's go around the other side here, guys, because we have one sitting scarecrow. That's the regular sitting scarecrow, not the scary sitting scarecrow. We have two dagger mics, one little skelly bone, and on the end we have two the widows. As usual, we have a whole stack of the jumping spiders. Look at that. You're never going to go into a Spirit Halloween and not be able to get a jumping spider. All right, we'll go back there in a minute and look at those other animatronics that are set up, but I want to look at these bobbleheads over here for a minute because I saw some cool new ones. First is the ghost face. I have this one, actually. I bought it last year, but look at this one. The Exorcist. She is way too evil for me, but I gotta say, guys, that is one cool bobblehead right there. We've got the Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the Pop 
popcorn plant killer guy that comes out of the toilet. Maybe we should just call him Toilet Boy. We've got this awesome Sam bobblehead, and look at this. This is way cool. Look at how they have half the face torn off, and you can see his rotting pumpkin head inside. We've got Bagwell, which is actually another character from the Trick or Treat movie. We've got Georgie down here. That's a pretty cool one. He's got his boat, and he's only got one arm. His other arm is chewed off. We've got Michael Myers way down on the bottom, and then we've got the Silence of the Lambs right here. This is a really cool one. Hello, Clarice. All right, guys, let's come on over here and check out this stuff. Oh my gosh, there is so much I want to look at right here. First, we have two Mr. Punchies. We have two 55-inch floor candelabras. Those are not animatronics, but they do light up. And we've got all these inflatables here, guys, most of them which we saw last year. But we're going to take a look at a couple of them that we have not seen yet starting with this one right here the sitting scarecrow look at that this guy is four feet tall and he's sitting on a hay bale that's pretty cool right there i don't know if i'd buy that one or not but i would buy the hello rat oh my gosh that is totally hilarious three and a half feet long this is one of them that i am so excited about guys though this is the ghost face he is 12 feet tall look at that thing holy crap he is really heavy too let's come around the back here i'm trying to just spin it around but it wants to stick on the box wow he is 179 dollars guys but he is really cool if you're a ghost face fan you know just how cool that is i don't really get the pumpkin because there's only one scream movie that takes place on halloween that was scream six the most recent one and honestly i didn't think they did a good enough job telling us that it was halloween but it's not about halloween it's about ghost face and this is the one that i'm really really excited about guys holy crap Look at this. I'm even more excited about this one than I am about the ghost face. This is a 20-foot inflatable snake. Strangely, the ghost face is a lot heavier than this one, but look at that. How cool is this? It's not even really like a character. It's just a big, giant, long green snake. He actually reminds me of Hiss on Disney's Robin Hood. And if we turn him around here, you can see he's $149.99, which is a chunk of change. But man, is he cool and he's 20 feet long. Okay, I don't see any secret keeping cats, guys, but I do see these fellows what in the world these guys are crazy looking look we have a rabid zombie bunny here i'd hate to run into this guy in the carrot patch you know what sir you are very scary looking and just to make you a little bit less scary we're gonna name you carrot and then there's this guy his name is already scabs and he is a rabid zombie dog look at the look his tail is a bone oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> Someone even asked me if he was a secret telling dog. So let's go ahead and find out. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Do you have secrets to tell? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. He must just be mad because he's injured his tailbone. All right, sir, you hang out here with your friend Carrot. Carrot and Scabs, best friends for life. Wait a minute, what? There's one Gordo in the store and these lucky fellows are buying it. Okay, let's keep on going around our journey here and see what else we can find. We did find the Hook Hedgehog and the hook eye guy whoa oh my gosh guys look it's an entire ham hock it's a ham hock one ham hock for sale <laughs> who wants a ham hock as always we have a ton of awesome masks to choose from i don't see any right off the bat that i haven't seen before except for this guy the martian warrior from mars attacks look at that guy look under here he has a detachable jaw your own chin goes inside there so when you talk it's like he's actually talking all right let's make our way over here and look at some of these crazy guys what the heck <laughs> i thought this guy was crazy enough when he was standing like this showing us his bum but look at this i think i like him better like this like he's trying to hold up something look he's like don't worry guys i got the pillow it's kind of heavy but i got it what is this guy's name even um flippin 
Freddy, that's his name. Look at this. Register your zombie baby here. It's a little creepy. And then we have this crazy guy who's playing with the moth from Silence of the Lambs. And his name is Mothy Max. Okay, I do like his green skin. Look at those crazy eyes and the even crazier teeth. And yeah, take a close look at those moths. They're exactly like the ones on the Silence of the Lambs. Hello, Clarice. Okay, so while we have a chance, let's take a quick look at this stuff over here, guys. We have this giant coffin right here, which is actually like a photo opportunity. You can step inside the coffin and get your photo taken. Just as if you were the dead alive. And we've got the black heart right here on the end, guys. I've been waiting to see this guy, so let's get a good look. He is $2.99, and he is one tall, scary, spooky guy. I know he's hiding a chair inside his robe. So let's go ahead and hit the button and get him going. Don't be afraid. Yowza, look at that guy. I can't understand a word he's saying because the music is so loud, guys. But look at the look on her face. She is totally dead in there. Okay, he is pretty dang awesome. Let's move on over here where we have the Grave Watcher. She's going crazy already over here watching all the graves. She looks pretty dang cool, actually. And then we have Lil Skelly Bones over here. Let's get him going because he's worth it. Come on, Mr. Skelly, come on. Come on, Skelly, come on. There we go. Skelly's one of my favorites of all time. I really do like the way this looks, guys. Look, I didn't notice this when I first walked up, but there's green lights coming up here behind the graveyard. And I love the spooky leaves. And here are the majestical mystery doors. Now, guys, when I was at the flagship store, I got a peek inside and all I saw was a jumping spider. I'm hoping that's not what is behind here because, wait a minute, we have a sign here that says jumping spider. I don't get it. Why would they only put a jumping spider in there when they could have used it for something much more awesome? Okay, let's go ahead and see how, how do, am I supposed to just open the door or, okay, the door is, how do I do it? Do I do the knocker? Ah, okay, I do do the knocker. He's already in full jump. Hello, sir. You're already in full jump. You lost your chance at scaring me. So there it is. I, I'm just kind of confused by that though. Cause yeah, I mean, it's really, really cool that you would have mystery majestical doors here and you would just have a jumping spider behind the doors. I know they also have a prop this year called Emmeline, I think her name is. I wonder if they originally meant for her to be behind those doors, but when she jumps out, she comes full force forward and they didn't want to be knocking people out. All right, we have all the headstones over here, which are totally awesome. Take a quick look because we're gonna wait till another store to really take a better look at those. And we have a lot of stuff over here, including this guy right here. What the heck is up with this? It's like a plush skeleton. OSSA skeleton pillow. I don't really get what that is, but it's a skeleton pillow that unfolds to make a full skeleton. So if you're in need of a skeleton buddy, there he is. As we looked at for a second earlier, we do have the wall o Beetlejuice over here, and there's a lot of awesome stuff there, which we'll take a closer look at in other stores because we have so many stores to go, guys, and so much more awesomeness to look at. Oh my gosh, it's a Monster Zinc hard hat. I love it. <laughs> for any of you who've been watching my Saturday Night Snack in a movie, you know that my office door is the Monster Zinc door, so I am totally going to buy this today for a prop in my movie room. All right, let's take one more quick walk back through here, guys, to see if there's anything I cannot resist not looking at before we go. Oh! Oh, he lives in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob bouncy head. Oh yes, we definitely have to take a look at the tiny terrors, guys. These are so awesome. Look at this, they are horror babies. We've got Ghostface, we've got Sam, we've got Pennywise, and we've got Leatherface. Wow, look at these. Look at the details in these. Oh my gosh, guys, every corner I take, there's so much more stuff to look at. But we're gonna have to look in other stores because I was not planning on coming over here when I heard they were open, so my battery is almost dead. If I would have seen Gordo when I walked in, I would have definitely bought him, but I did not see him. So we're gonna stick with the Monsters Inc. hat for this trip. Maybe I didn't see it because of my one eye.